left this morning it was 47 now it's 70 so we're losing jackets and stuff and on this road we're getting a workout we're going to McCarthy we're about 20 miles west of McCarthy don't know much about it Here comes another truck oh yeah the sprinter get out of the way
yams and onions. So I just talked to the the bartender at the campground and uh, he said that all that water is because the glacial lake let loose last night. And so it peaked at about two or three in the morning and uh, it's ripping. And normally there's no water in there. So uh, I'm glad we took the little footbridges because I guess the vans take water, they just drive across the, the riverbed because there's no water in it. But now there is. In the island. There is, oh yeah, so the other campground over there that we passed, uh, part of it became an island. A bunch of people are stuck on it for uh, a little bit. So apparently they're having fun with it. But uh, yeah, you gotta pay attention to these glacial lake spillways. So we started with sauteed onions, added yams and some water, brought it to the boil. Uh, we have, still have some of that grilled steak seasoning, so that's a little bit of salt and pepper to add to this. And basil, so we'll add some. I know here we are in Alaska and we have chicken and the sea pink salmon. Tricky to do a simmer. things that I bought that I thought would last for a couple of days. Where we started out today in Valdez and where we bought it, it was quite cool, so it was fine. We get here and it's 70 degrees, but it was a hot day once we got here. I need to call that good. The last day for the cheese, that's for sure, but it seems fine. Well, it's really good. But the chicken of the sea is a big thumbs down. We didn't need to put that in there. That doesn't add anything. <laughs>